Let's start with commentary driving. As a trainer, the only way you can ever really know what the driver is looking at or thinking about is to have them constantly tell you. Commentary driving lets you get inside their head and constantly evaluate their knowledge. Commentary driving is also a way to avoid problems. If a trainee is coming up short and not looking ahead or looking around or not leaving room, it's a sure sign of increased risk. Commentary driving gives you a heads up and more information about how they're progressing through the training. However, first you'll need to demonstrate commentary driving. Then have your trainees try it on the road. Commentary driving gives my trainees the opportunity to basically tell me that they're understanding the standard. So what I do first as I train on each standard, I say out loud to the trainees on the bus, my commentary driving. And then it's their turn to tell me what they're doing while they're driving. We're going to start with standard number 16, triple LC, because just about everything is based on that principle. What does it mean? Look ahead, look around, leave room, and communicate. That's right. And if everyone on the road could do this, then we would eliminate about 90% of all accidents. But most people on the road, they're not professional drivers. That, they're amateurs, and they make most of the mistakes. And it's our job to try and make up for their mistakes. That's good. It's an important point to remember. It'll help calm your nerves and calm you down when someone cuts you off without a signal. We're the professionals. So, time to go, and I'm gonna show you how to do commentary driving, okay? The first principle is look ahead. Right now, I'm looking 15 seconds ahead to where that bridge is. I can see the traffic is starting to slow down, but I can't see why. Look ahead gives me time to react. So I'm gonna back off the accelerator and slow down, just in case the traffic doesn't clear up in the next two or three seconds. When you look ahead, what are you looking for? Any changes in the flow of traffic, obstructions in the road, construction zones, and warning signs. Anything else? Traffic signs, changes in the road, detours, animals, pedestrians, anything, I guess. Now, I'm slowing down to a stop because traffic is at a standstill. As you can see, commentary driving reinforces the learning as you drive the bus. In fact, having other trainees in the bus and answering questions is a great way for them to learn the safety principles. Action. So by now you know the routine. The trainer does a short demonstration explaining through commentary driving what you're looking at, thinking about, and going to do next. So now it's time to give your trainees a chance to do it. One at the wheel and the other observing with the guide. Now let's go over how to safely drive through an intersection. It's standard number eight, Shauna. You follow along and make sure that Lou is doing it right with the commentary. Okay. As I approach this intersection, I'm using all four safety principles. Look ahead, look around, leave room, and communicate. I see the light is green. What do we call that? That's a stale green light, which means it could change at any time. So I'm going to cover my brake and get ready to stop. See, it's changing. Since I'm the first to the light, I'll stop six feet behind the limit line. Now, even though I'm just sitting here, I'm going to look around. Check this out. You can't see behind this mirror, so I rock and roll forward and backward and from side to side while looking around this mirror. 